Well, Yusuf, congratulations. That's the second time you've won the uh, West Brom Disabled Supporters Club Player of the Year. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, I feel great. That's, uh, that's uh, always a pleasure, you know, to, to win a trophy. And, uh, you know, we came here to sign some autographs to meet uh, some disabled. And uh, when you see the smile on their face, you're always happy. And uh, that gives you a strength, you know, strength to stay in the Premier League, strength to hit our target. So that's going to start for, from uh, Monday against Man City and uh, I hope we're going to be ready for, for this game. But you know, every time when you win a trophy, you feel good, you feel great and uh, I hope that's going to push me to be a, a good, better player. Fantastic. And how's the mood in the camp after, uh, after last weekend against Spurs? <laughs> to be fair, that was, that was quite hard because you know, when you're winning against uh, one of the big team uh, in the Premier League, you're winning 3-0 and uh, we, drew, we drew. That was really hard, but after that, you know, if uh, someone would have asked us before the game um, to take a point before the game, I, I think all the dressing room would be happy, would have been happy with uh, the point, you know. But um, I think, like, when you see the game, everyone Mm, the players and uh, the supporters thought like we we were able to win the game, but that's a football, you know. So now we need to focus on uh, on Man City. That's what we're doing. The the week is going to be really long because we play on Monday, so we got time to focus on the City and to clear off uh, the game of Tottenham. But Albion can go into the game against Man City high in confidence. We've, d we've done well against the big teams this season, haven't we? Yeah, we've done well against the big team and uh, you know that's a crucial game for Man City but for West Brom as well. And uh, yesterday we saw uh, Sunderland draw against uh, uh, City. You know, so everything is possible uh, in the football, especially in England. And uh, that's, uh, that's like a cup game, you know. You never know what's going to happen. We, we just need to go there, start well, start sharp, like we did Saturday. And uh, we need to show a little bit more strength uh, at the end of the game. You must have mixed emotions that it looks like you're not going to be able to come up against Yaya Toura. Yeah. You'd love that battle, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, obviously I love to play against uh, one of the best uh, midfield in, uh, in England. But uh, hopefully for us he's not there. And uh, we're going to play uh, against City, so when Yaya Toure is not there, there is uh, some of other players who got the same level than Yaya Toure, so we need to be ready. You know, uh, that's a good team, they play for to finish first of the league, so there won't be any mercy for us. So we go in there and uh, we're going to fight to grab a point, and after the most important is going to come again after West Ham, so all the game left. It's going to be really important for us. I think we need to reach the 40 points to stay in the Premier League. And Albion's form over the last five games, two wins, two draws, must give you great confidence heading into the last five games. And what, it's going to be a nervy time for supporters. Yeah, obviously, you know, and uh, I think away from home, we're doing really well. So that's why we, we're really confident uh, to go and at City and uh, to see if we can, you know, find uh, the solution to to score, you know, that's a great team, as I said, great players, but we're in a good form, you know, we need to keep the momentum, we need to keep the fitness, you know, because at this stage of the season, there is some uh, injury, some, you know, stiffness, so we need to keep all the players on the pitch and uh, I hope we're going to win or draw at City.